good morning guys welcome oh good girl my pig is amazing she's peeing she, she my pig is amazing Morning guys, welcome to today's video. My pig is so amazing. She's so cool. She's so fun. I literally had no idea it would be like this. And you're probably thinking, like, like what, Laura? How is it? <laughs> she is potty trained. She is so good. Last night I screwed up in a huge way. We went to riding lessons and I thought, oh, I'll just feed her when we get home. Well, when we got home, it was raining and Pigs don't like rain. Goats have issues with weather, but nobody has issues with weather like a little pig. I'm coming, Sophie. So I brought her outside. Unfortunately, it was raining and she lost her mind. Anyways, I took her out in the rain. She lost her mind. She didn't pee. When we went in, she was so cold from that tiny bit of rain that touched her little body that she covered up. I had to... I had to I literally had to tuck her in her bed, wrap her in blankets. She slept the whole night long, brought her out this morning and she peed. Like she, she'll hold it for hours and hours. And then this morning, she's just so good. She is so potty trained. Like if dogs potty trained, if puppies potty trained like a pig, we would have a lot more dogs in the world, man. She is so good she is so good the only issue that she has is we're learning to walk on a leash i know i don't have the right leash yet so that and picking her up pigs don't like to be picked up it's the first thing i ever learned about pigs they just feel unsure when their feet are off the ground but as soon as you cradle them they get a lot better carrying her and carrying a camera is proving to be a little bit difficult <laughs> but she's getting used to it <laughs> She's like, no, I'm not, Laura. I hate when you carry me with one hand. Anyway, we're going to take her with us out to see the horses. She much prefers to walk, and at least training her is huge on my list. Hi, guys. Oh, man, it is wet out today. It rained all night, and I'm wearing slippery shoes. Jar's like, my baby's back. Isn't she so cute? She's scared of you. Strong loves her. It's okay. Look, Look. Look. They all need a brush. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Honey doesn't even care. Honey's like, like, oh, I'll give you a ride. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know about this. Babies can sit on him and he'll just stand there. He likes her. He really likes her. He's really interested. Storm's the kind of horse that doesn't ever back down. Like, if something happens, he's a true leader. He's right there to make sure that okay, everything's okay. Oh, we're gonna put her in the stall while we go lay out the bed. She'll be okay. Storm is awful. He just wants to get, he wants the pig for himself. <laughs> Hi, Pen. I'm sorry you're a mess. I'll brush you today again. What is the. Storm. Listen, it's not your pig. <laughs> it's not your baby. Storm wants to be a dad. Little Miss Posey is cold. That's why she's shaking. She's freezing. It is a bit chilly out and it's gonna get cold again. It's gonna get a bit colder. This is the last week of cold. I plan on it. We want everybody on the farm to get used to Little Posey because one day soon, she'll be wandering around the, the barnyard with everybody. We wanna take it slow <laughs> because she's really young still. All right, so we're gonna leave her in her stall for a little bit. Hopefully she late, she goes right in front of the window and goes in front of the sun. I'm going to be getting her a sweater on um, when it gets cold again. People will complain, but she's cold. She deserves to be warm. She's literally like having a puppy, but better. So this morning I came down and did chores. I come down at the crack of dawn to do chores. Let the babies out this morning because it's wet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's leave these guys in here for a little Hi, little boy. He's like, let me out. Hey, 
Get out. So the entire area over there by those toys that the goats go on, they, it was flooded. So I decided not to put the babies out until it dried up. Because one thing about babies is that they don't always know enough not to go in the water in the wet. Okay, hold the door. And then you can come down and find like a chilled baby. Come on, mama. Come on. Literally the cutest goat that we have. He's just such a cute color. Him. <laughs> Every time I say we have a really cute goat, Sophie's like, nope, it's this one. And Winston is really cute, but this is my preferred color. Like, I just love him. I love well, everything I love about him. Too, but, like, Winston's better. I love any goat with a lot of white. Winston I like any color. Well. Yeah, your mascara is perfect. Where'd you get it? Um, my advent calendar thing. Oh, I love your mascara. It's so pretty. All right, are you ready? Everybody's looking happy. The only one who doesn't look happy is Rosie. Ever since her mom disowned her because she had other babies, it's put... It's put her in like a really weird situation. Oh, I was gonna video them too. Suddenly, she's not got her mom to protect her and her mom protected her so well this whole entire time. So now she's the most pushed around goat, even almost as bad as Lola. She's like a second to Lola and it's just, it's, it's a shock to her. I imagine that this is what it's like to rehome a pet, especially when they have bonds with their herd. So I've decided we're keeping all the pets. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> we can't. I don't think we can. If they were girls, maybe, but... No, even if they were girls, we can't. Pick him up. Let's see him. Oh. Look at my boy. Look at my boy. <laughs> my boy. All right, let's get the little pig and put him out here. Put her out here and see how she does. Okay, she's going to get rammed. She's going to, everybody's going to be scared of her. Maybe we'll wait. Sweet Lola. <laughs> so Lola's, Lola's like, get that stupid baby away from me. It's my turn to have love. <laughs> she just lets there's a pump her, though. There's a lot of jealousy going on on the farm right now. I every time you get, like, I wasn't gonna have. every time you get a new pet, Winston. Jealousy happens. We're working through it though. We're trying to help all of our pets. Like the worst one this right now. Is so sassy. The what worst, the most jealous pet right now is who would you say? Winston. I'd say Ellie. Oh my gosh. She hates the pig. All right. I she doesn't Winston. hate the pig, but she vies for the pig for my attention. So I keep taking her away from the pig and taking her <laughs> into another room and holding her and holding her on the couch where I always hold her, but when I sit on the floor and I want to train the pig, that's when like troubles happen. Oh, okay. So we're just learning to coexist right now. Yeah. I literally can't believe that Storm is obsessed with that baby. Nah. With that baby pig. This guy looks like the thinnest out of all of them. They're all doing really well weight wise. It's this guy. He's the tallest. He's the tallest and he's white. I don't, white should make it look bigger, I think. But anyway, he is a little bit, like they're all almost exactly the same weight. He's like an ounce or two smaller. They're all doing really, really well. Hello, baby. And they're getting really friendly. Nobody's as friendly as Winston, though. Yeah, what are you doing now? Oh my gosh. Do you guys know that nobody can keep Ellie in the house but me and Sophie? Like, if anybody else comes out of the house, uh-oh, here comes trouble. Well, you have to like... Uh, don't do it, Ellie. Don't do it. Not a good idea. So our next to give birth, our last to give birth is little Rosie, the one that's struggling because she's upset because her mom has abandoned her. And I think she's going to have twins. Like she still has months to go before her baby is born. And I think, and she's looking quite big. So I think she's going to have twins. He's like, yeah, and more babies. Winston, I thought I was going to be so excited that there were more little demons. But no. Yeah, Winston not. doesn't play with them. Tell me why Winston doesn't play with them. Because he gets rammed. Because the moms all protect their babies. So he's like the odd goat out. Nobody, he doesn't have, that's why it's good to have babies that are all the same age. They kind of all grow up together. And even well, just. Well, we did breed your mom, so. And even just three weeks later, it makes such a big difference. Yeah. You can be friends. Winston's so excited to have them though. That's the thing I hate about animals and I keep saying it on our channel. So Winston gets nervous anytime one of the babies runs around him because he's afraid and anticipates. 
he's yeah if he was registered he's anticipating a mama goat coming to kill him so he's always like nervous he's always on edge and then Rosie's on edge because she's expecting somebody to come and, and butt her and then Lola's really on edge because she's got like the mom's coming for her for her and she's got Winston coming for her all the time so I like I hate that about animals and it's the same with our horses because Penny and Storm have this whole thing going on where she Penny hates Storm and then he tries to push her buttons and like they just it because of that it's got our herd kind of not as happy as they could be and that bothers me and it's why we separate our goats at night so that everybody doesn't have to deal with bullying at night and they can they can everybody can eat but it's just still stressful even though it's natural and it's normal and every animal species on the planet has a hierarchy so we know it's normal it's just not a nice thing to see and it's not fair Winston is literally almost as tall as Lola. And don't worry, once he's ready to breed, uh, he'll be removed. She won't be getting pregnant from him. She but literally, she's six months old. Wait, six months? Six months, almost seven months old, and she's so short. And I remember when we went to Horde Station and we saw her mom there, and her mom was a really short goat, too. Is that Harley? I love, yeah, I love Look at those blue ears. eyes. Okay, he's not happy. Don't kick it's your blue eyes. You need to like make him look <laughs> he's cute. Doing the arm thing again. <laughs> he's like, oh, I don't like you. Hi, Rosie. Hey, Let's hey, see if I have a treat for you. I've been trying to give Rosie extra treats. Look, Rosie. Rosie, look. Rosie, look. And you're all look, Rosie. Look. Here, Rosie, look. Rosie. Look at Lola up there. Oh, Lola. I need to go find some paint. I know we have paint. Welcome to the piggy corner. <laughs> this is our piggy time of the day. She has been a dream, like I told you guys. I really want to train her to, <laughs> to do tricks. <laughs> She's like, I'm a YouTube pig. Look at me, look at me. <laughs> Isn't she so funny? Her favorite toy at the moment is me, but she also loves this cat toy. So I definitely need to get more cat toys, more piggy toys. She literally will pick this up, put the stick through her crate, and then play with it for hours. But she loves toys. Her and Molly played with a ball yesterday. Molly loves her. It's just getting to that point where they get comfortable with you and friendly with you. Like, she's so snug snuggable. Like, look at how she's just laying. And her whole, I'm supporting her whole body. She's just laying on me. This started yesterday where she started climbing up on me. And I became a friend. I decided to use Ellie's snuffle mat to feed her. Because um, pigs love to snuffle. They love to root and dig for stuff, and she sucks at it. She's not good at it. She's lazy. Are pigs lazy? <laughs> She's definitely lazy. She won't She won't do it. I end up having to feed her by hand, but I think right now me feeding her by hand has done, like, wonders for us. Like, look at her. We got her two days ago, and she screamed if she thought I was going to pick her up. And now when I pick her up, she just makes a little bit of noise. <laughs> Yeah, that's the hay from the barn. So she's doing so much better. I'm gonna order um I'm gonna order a leash right now for her. Don't you know that you're beautiful?